why didn't God immediately destroy Satan? It's one of those swirling mysteries of faith that keeps you up at night. If God is all-powerful and Satan is pure evil, why does God allow him to wield any power in the world? Couldn't an all-powerful God just immediately annihilate his enemy? Poof. No more spiritual harassment and temptation for humanity ever again. Problem solved, right? Those kinds of logical questions used to really trip me up too until I started rethinking popular assumptions about God's motives. We often view power as a zero-sum game. For God to show supremacy, he must dominate and destroy all rivals. But the Bible reveals a different story, one of patience and pain over God's most beloved betraying him for pride's sake. We're told Satan was initially the angel Lucifer, a glorious high-ranking cherub in heaven who fell from grace and took a third of the angels with him. Imagine God mourning this loss of intimacy, knowing the suffering it would unleash on earth. In Revelation it suggests God still laments Satan's rebellion and ultimate destruction. Rather than obliterate his fallen angels in righteous judgment, God established parameters for Satan's activity, limiting his sphere of influence. God knew tested loyalty chosen freely in love meant more than forced puppetry without choice. In his compassion, God tarries to allow every opportunity for repentance just as he does for us. Peter writes that God is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. Could God eliminate Satan but chooses not to for some secret divine purpose? Yes, but I believe it more shows God's broken heart hoping creation made in love and for love will still choose to return home. What do you think? Is God impatiently waiting to smite Satan or sorrowfully waiting like the father of the prodigal son hoping we all choose truth? I'd love to hear your perspectives.